friction reducing friction now that you know how friction works you will be able to understand how we can reduce friction the reason for friction is the interlocking of bumps right so we can reduce friction by reducing the interlocking how can we do that we can do it by reducing the amount of area that actually comes in contact with each other lesser area of contact means lesser scope of interlocking means lesser friction let's check out how we can do that look at this ball on the ground and compare it to this cube on the ground look at the actual area of contact of both in the cube one whole surface is in contact with the ground what about the sphere just a very small portion is in contact so where will the friction be less obviously where the area of contact is less in a ball the actual contact with the surface is very little so there is less place for friction to act on so it will be easier to slide a ball across the ground rather than a box and that is only because the area of contact of a ball with the ground is lesser how can we reduce friction you know we can reduce friction by using objects like balls or wheels so if you use a ball shape whenever you have things in motion then the friction will be lesser that is why we have ball bearings in machine what are they just small balls that become the contact point for things in motion we use ball bearings where the load is less as bearings reduce the area of contact they reduce friction just like ball bearings we also have roller bearings the roll is the same to help movement in machine parts by reducing friction let's look at another way of reducing friction you know that friction happens because of the bumps and interlocking if there are lesser bumps there will be lesser friction so we can reduce friction by changing the types of materials in contact with one another for example try sliding on a smooth tile surface in your house with your bare feet then try doing it when you're wearing socks it's easier when you wear socks isn't it yes did you change the area of your feet in contact with the ground no then why is it easier because the kind of material changed so the bumps changed skin and tile combination offers more friction than socks and tile what else can we do when you sprinkle powder on the floor it becomes slippery and you can slide better even when you sprinkle powder on the carrom board the striker slides better what happens the powder goes into the bumps on the surface and smoothens them out a little that reduces the interlocking and therefore the friction reduces too when the friction reduces you can slide better there is a word for this it's called lubrication lubrication means applying a substance to reduce friction and allow smooth movement so when you sprinkle powder on the carrom board it is lubrication when you oil your cycle it is lubrication when they grease a machine they basically put some lubricant where the moving parts are 
So, you know what lubricants are and what lubrication is. In some machines, you cannot use a solid or a liquid lubricant. In that case, you may have to use air as a lubricant. The air cushion between moving parts reduces friction. Why is it necessary to reduce friction between moving parts? Because friction causes wear and tear. That is undesirable. Friction also causes heat. Put your hands to your cheek and feel their temperature. Then rub your palms together vigorously for 10 seconds. Do you feel them warm up? Yes, you do. That is because of friction. Friction causes heat. What did we just learn? Friction can be reduced by using lubricants. In many machines, friction is reduced by using ball bearings.